Hello folks, so today we're going to be learning how to create web maps from your simple basic maps that you make in QGIS. So with web maps, uh, now people no longer have to download pictures or PDFs in their, on their phones or on their tablets or laptops in order to view your maps. They can simply do it on your website. So as you can see, I have this basic map of Midlands province. It's uh, locations of treatment centers and quarantine centers so first of all we are what you have to do is you have to install a QGIS plugin uh, like a web plugin which allows you to convert simple maps into web maps so the, the name of the plugin is QGIS 23JS it's basically a JavaScript library which helps you con which helps you do that so as you can see this plugin visualizes dem and vector data but unfortunately i do not have dem data to be able to visualize the 3d but i'm going to use the 2d but it's still the same concept so make sure you have this plugin and you install it so let's get started okay so once you create a map like this as i have done here you then go to this toolbar web and then you go to the plugin it's, it's remember it's qgis 23 js so we're gonna click on our uh, QGIS 3 exporter we want to preview so we, we click on the first option so, yeah so it brings us to this page it's another window where we actually configure our map so this is going to be our preview map as you can see it's just a plain 2d because as i said i do not have a dem file to be able to view the elevation aspect so these are the layers from before you can actually turn this layer off it's as it's, it's basically the, the elevation tile but unfortunately it doesn't have any elevation values so it's just a plain file okay so uh, if I try to zoom in these are the locations as you have seen so now we want to export this map but first of all we have to design it but this one was pre was pre-designed like from my for my previous okay so let's see here uh, we want to we want to be able to visualize the decorations here so as you can see and add a north arrow which is already here just apply it already there mm -hmm. so here we can also decorate our head and footer already as you can see I already have this head the Midlands province blah 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 copyright African Surveyors Connect because it was created by African Surveyors Connect so that's, that's basically it so I'm going to jump into the exporting part and then most of these designs you can just explore wireless here using the plugin so for us to be able to export we click on file and then export to web okay it opens this window whereby we have to configure uh, like our because if we export it's going to convert this into HTML and JavaScript files so uh, we have a choice to select output directory so I have to select output directory on the desktop there's a folder that I created for this specifically um, let me try to look for it yeah QGIS to, to web so I selected that folder and my HTML file is going to be midlands.html yeah. and I want the page title to be Midlands Province Web View that's okay with me uh, the template that I'm going to use is mobile well this mobile template uh, has many benefits because it uh, allows augmented virtual reality I'm sure you can google that and to know more about it you can actually like the users can actually can actually use their location to navigate using your web map it's actually fantastic so i'm gonna use that and then i'm gonna export so we'll leave the plugin to do its work then now it's done so you can see export is started blah 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 export is completed in 1.57 seconds wow that was fast so this is the web page file that has been generated let's open the web page file and see what we have so we're just gonna give it time to load there we have it that's our HTML file which has been generated by this plugin 
unfortunately it's just in 2d because i couldn't get a dm for this but I hopefully when you, while you're doing this tutorial you have your dms ready so that you can actually view that elevation data set from your minds or your web workstations or wherever you want to visualize and help uh, site visitors to actually see these maps on your website without having to download and use up space on your on their phones or on their laptops so as you can see this is the argumented reality bar so let's just turn it on it requires me to use the camera so i'm just gonna allow it but unfortunately it doesn't work for now because we're using the local host as you can see the file url here we're using a local machine but the camera is turned on and it's now as you can see this location icon is already hinting me that it needs to use the location so i'm gonna tap on it and then it wants to know your location so that the users can be able to navigate you cannot get current location yeah because i'm using yeah my network is off and i'm not currently using wi-fi at the moment so this is basically our file so let's navigate and see what files we generated so i'm gonna navigate to the files which we generated which i can find here yeah so these are the files As you can see the midlands that html file is here so if you're a, if you're a javascript developer like me you can actually edit these files to suit your style to suit your to suit your style your your, your website as a theme so i know you want to you want them to fit your website theme so that uh, there aren't any complications and yeah so that's basically it you can actually convert your simple maps into a web map by simply using this plugin remember it's qgis 23 js exporter so thank you for watching i hope you like this video and we'll stay we'll keep an eye for more please subscribe to the channel and see you once again